All right, title says it all, and before some people comment on why I'm even talking about this in the first place, I think it's pretty important to understand why and how the richest and most popular people in the entire world get away with doing unethical things. It's so just like real life! And how that ends up happening. This is where we need a tremendous amount of context, which has been hashed and rehashed by pretty much every single commentary channel on all of YouTube. Because of that, I'll condense it as much as possible and skip through to the important stuff. Mr. Beast, the world's largest social media influencer, if you haven't heard of him, which you probably have, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video, has a team of people surrounding him. On that team are a number of individuals, one of which is named Chris Tyson, choosing mm -hmm. to now go by the name Ava. This person- it's, This can of worms has all been because of her, man. That's crazy! Has become the centerpiece of a wide-ranging social media scandal for a variety of reasons, but one of those reasons is their enthusiastic association with an artist named Shadman. Really quick, oh, yeah. Shadman is an NSFW, not safe for work style. Yeah, the guy that draws kids in pornographic settings. Wow. Style artist who specializes in something called. It's really strange to sit here and talk about this stuff, but in order to fully understand the situation, I kind of have to. Is a Japanese pop culture term referring to, quote, fictional media that focuses on young or young looking girl characters, particularly in a or manner, end quote. Dude, he, YouTube did not like him talking about this stuff. Look, it's all bleeped out. The thing to understand is that Shadman is the subject of extreme controversy after a series of decisions resulted in his flat out expulsion from university and the creation of explicit artwork by him featuring the eight-year-old daughter of another yeah. famous YouTuber named Keemstar, which is- Now that's ratchet. I don't know how they got away with it. An entirely disgusting situation to have unfolded. Chris Tyson, for what seems like rather disturbing reasons, is an outspoken fan of this artist, even so far as to have a poster of Shadman's work hanging on their living room wall as, quote, a centerpiece, thereby connecting the dots between four separate parties. Mr. Beast, a.k.a. Jimmy Donaldson, the world's largest influencer, Ava Chris Tyson, his employee, Shadman, an explicit artist, and Keemstar, another massive YouTuber on- Look, I'm gonna say it. I don't think it matters what the fuck- what the freaking art on the wall is. If it's, like, an adult woman or a woman that has small titties, and it's a lolly, if it's on your wall in your house, you're fucking weird. I don't give a frick what the context is. That's what I've been like trying to say. On the platform, who's further involved this in whole the time. There's more about the behavior pattern, actions, and decision making process of Ava Chris Tyson. However, the important thing to be aware of is that after irrefutable evidence of that behavior came to light, Mr. Beast, Jimmy Donaldson, finally responded, distancing himself and loosely condemning this former employee. Quote, over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior. And I like how he addressed this, but he won't address anything else. It's crazy. The lawyers must have told him to, like, write this out, obviously. You're online, and I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. I guess I gotta take down my Chibi Doki merch. No, no, I'm saying it has sexual connotations. Like, I've seen boomers hanging up like corn stars on their wall like on their wall like framed or like hot chicks and like bikinis like licking a popsicle and i'm like why do you have this in like your living room or your wall you know that's what i think is just strange to me if i walked into someone's house and i thought about like hey what if a child walked in it's like huh end quote Hopefully everyone can follow along here because some of this stuff comes back around later, but that's basically the rudimentary, extremely simplified version of all these events leading us to July 24th, which is the day that Mr. Beast directly responded to the controversy, distancing himself from Ava Chris Tyson. Well, July 24th of 2024 was also the day that a former employee of Mr. Oh, Beast named yeah. Dawson, who goes by the screen name Dogpack404 online. <laughs> Almost 11 million views, man. That's the this is such a disaster, dude. Released a nearly hour long video about the so-called business practices of this Mr. Beast media empire, we'll call it, focusing okay. on illegal lotteries, 
rigged competitions, and other forms of unethical behavior. So far, Mr. Beast has not responded to any of those allegations. However, in the background, he has enlisted not one, but two separate law firms to file cease and desist letters. The original leaks regarding Ava Chris Tyson's behavior online have been taken down by GitHub. Remaining footage- of Well, that was because it was TOS, not because they took it down. Because it was, you know, Mr. Beast asked. Because they put it right back up on a different website. Live streams associated with these alleged illegal lotteries has been removed on Facebook. Yeah, the content discussing naturally. the unsafe working conditions of his newest program, Beast Games, which is a production under the banner of Amazon, got shadow banned on social media across the world outside the United States. So that's confirmed now? Um, hmm, that's kind of interesting, speaking out on your shadow band on TikTok. Huh. I call that a cover-up, but what I've got for you right now is even worse. To make what? this possible, I worked with a source named Hoboon, who is incredibly talented in the field of, shall we say, data acquisition. He wants to stay a bit under the radar here, so I won't be linking okay. to any social media pages or anything like that. But big shout out to Hoboon for making this possible. Keep one thing in mind here. Mr. Beast has not responded to anything other than the drama regarding his former employee, Ava Chris Tyson. He hasn't addressed the idea that his team members are forging his signature. He hasn't addressed the idea of running illegal lotteries. He hasn't addressed- Or targeting children with illegal lotteries that's not supposed to be allowed? The safety concerns or the OSHA violations that are now percolating through mainstream media or anything to do with predatory practices, underage gambling, or anything mm. like that. But what he did do is launch another video. This one, the newest one, is about surviving 100 days in a nuclear bunker, and the video was immediately met with controversy after various dislike viewing extensions for YouTube showed that the- Arguably, he did the right thing according to his lawyers. Just keep releasing content and hope that it doesn't have to be addressed. Video was received- And, and to those that say poor taste, it doesn't matter. The lawyers probably told him to. They said, don't address anything until that you absolutely have to. And then we'll write anything that you have to do. Even hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dislikes. Well, the accuracy of these extensions got very quickly called into question. Some YouTubers saying that they're wildly inaccurate. Others running with the number that the video was being disliked by millions of people. Yeah, I watched the Asmin video. It said it was like 15% um, minus and plus. Yeah. Apparently they're not super duper accurate. They're like an approximate, but it's like you can kind of rely on it if you understand how it works. But one YouTuber in particular chimed in, Keemstar, after deleting a post about how many dislikes the video had received, allegedly showing footage directly from Mr. Beast about the real numbers. <laughs> this footage, apparently from August 3rd to 4th, showed 3 million likes, but only 37,000 dislikes which is actually lower than the entire channel average if you look at the typical ratio of 98.2. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I find it kind of funny that they decided to buy out Keemstar because you know that Keemstar loves to lie. He is not the most stellar, like, source of information. So you can, so put to put it this way, he is the wrong clock that strikes twice a day. So if he releases something like this, it means that it's not true, probably. It's so funny that they decided to buy him out like this. Versus 98.8%. Keemstar firmly asserts that he was not lied to, he was not misled, and that yeah, he believes sure. these numbers are fully accurate. But I would like to assert in my opinion that these numbers are in no way, shape, or form even close to accurate, especially when you consider and understand the full scope of what's going on behind the scenes. Let's get to some data. After this video went live, people began to notice that their comments were being deleted. To yeah. be clear, YouTube does have an auto mod feature that is extremely overzealous with what it takes down. I see it in action sometimes on my own channel. And there's always comments. Yeah, on my, on my channel, apparently saying like the words a woman is an automatic feature, even if it's not necessarily a negative connotation. And if you say, like, woman something, 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 and then you say, like, oh, men get assaulted, it still takes into account that you use the word woman and assault. So it thinks that you're talking badly about women, even if the context itself is perfectly fine. 
It's very bizarre. That do, in fact, deserve to be removed. Ones that use extreme language, aggressively linking to off-platform websites for the yeah. sake of generating traffic over there, or yep. just genuinely attempting to be disruptive and harmful. However, after analyzing this video for the span of roughly 36 hours, and after putting the puzzle pieces together elsewhere, I find it completely impossible to believe quite literally anything that the Mr. Beast team says or does as being authentic and honest, because they are engaging in a targeted cover-up that spans across six years and multiple separate channels. This right here is the 36 hour period of time where the oh, comment section yeah. of that latest video was scraped repeatedly and archived. Green is the total number of comments posted. Red is the total number of comments allowed to remain on the video actively. Over that one single 36 hour period from August 4th to midway through August 5th, over 26,000 comments were deleted. I wonder if it was a bot or if it was like an actual person that he paid like $10 an hour to like scrub comments. <laughs> at a consistent rate, as well as in two very large major batches. In addition, Ooh. we can infer a couple of things from this graph, such as the usage of automatic filters, which would explain why the rate of new comments- Oh shit, wait, 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 look at the, look at the filters. Stop the bleeding comments and respond to allegations. Respond, respond, we know what you did. Yeah, it's scraping keywords. Jimmy, no, we know what you did, Jimmy. Stop trying to hide it, scripted facts. This is your downfall. Stop hiding. Protect Myers from Chris. Yeah. My God. Is that Russian? Uh, I. No, it. No, it's like backwards. I can't read that. It doesn't make any sense. Greek. Uh, I can't tell. Ukrainian. I. Don't think so. I don't know. That's very weird. I don't know what this means. Polish? No. I guess it doesn't matter because it's not a word. I can't read it. Of new comments very suddenly drops off a cliff, also corroborated by showcasing the number of comments containing certain keywords over time. Here's yeah! a complete list of the comments, by the way, where you can see things like this showcasing oh, Arabic. all at once for various keywords and phrases. Dozens or even hundreds of comments will disappear in close proximity to each other. For example, comments simply containing the word script were suddenly mass deleted. Comments yep. containing the word fake were mass deleted as well. And for the sake of transparency, I'm going to link this file down below in the description, along with other resources for anyone that wants to check or go back and see if their comment shows up here. Keep in mind, this is a rough 36 hour snapshot from the 4th to midway through the 5th of August, 2024. It's not the entire lifespan of Holy the video. Holy smokes. In reality, far more than these 26,000 comments have been deleted, much of it taking place before the data collection process began. This is just what Hoboon managed to directly capture. The real number of total deleted comments is much, much- This guy did some work all over a Mr. Beast video, man. Much, much, much higher than 26,000. But even with just one portion of data, I'm supposed to believe that a video where the creators are mass deleting tens of thousands of comments only has 37,000 dislikes. And Yeah, that does not track. This is why I'm saying, like, I don't think they should have bought out Keemstar because he's known to, like, lie. Why would you ever even consider it? Has a lower dislike percentage than the rest of the channel's videos? This is so far outside the realm of actual possibility, it boggles the mind. However, that's only the beginning, because this effort is far larger than the comment section of just one individual video. Yeah. This right here is a video from six years ago where Mr. Beast decided to tip delivery guys $10,000. I have my gripes with his social mannerisms and the things that are actually done. Oh, did they cut out the part where it had the Shadman, uh, you know, special picture in there in the living room? I cannot believe they had that. I cannot believe that they had that in there. And YouTube let it through, too. Like. It is a sexual picture, like I can't argue with that at all said here. But if you scroll down, there's a jump in the most recent comments from 10 days ago to one month ago. All comments from the entire month of July were purged from this video. Oh, the question then becomes, why? yeah. Well, the answer is pretty simple. They were purged because they said things like this, quote, 
damn, the Shadman poster is actually there, end quote, linking to nine minutes and 30 seconds. Interesting. There's a lot of these, by the way, for anyone who's curious. They were targeted and mass deleted as soon as they began showing up. What's even more interesting is that if you go to an archived version of this video, you'll see that the length is 12 minutes and 48 seconds. Yep, and they cut out the, the picture. That... Oh, that's so cringe. If this goes to court, you can't hide from the law. Does Mr. Beast not care about it? Why Why did his lawyers like advise him to do that? I wonder. Seconds. Save However, public face, probably. The current version on the Mr. Beast channel is 10 minutes and 26 yep. seconds. Here's why. At roughly 9 minutes and 30 seconds in, as stated in the comments that were mass deleted, a portion of this video was cut out that showed the team in a living room and on the wall, sure enough, is a Shadman poster. Yep. The same poster that Ava Chris Tyson bragged about making a centerpiece of the living room. Mr. Beast went back. I don't know, man. If I, if I knew someone that was like just like a sex pest in general, I don't know if I'd even want them to be like in a video that targets children. I just wouldn't be able to live with it. It's just weird. Like you could be a sex pest off screen. I don't give a fuck about that. But this is so weird. And he knew the whole time. Back to a video from six years ago. He deleted an entire month of comments as well as stealth edited a portion of the video out to hide things. The only yeah. word I can think of is cover up. Still not done. Turns out the Mr. Beast editing team has been hard at work, stealth editing many more videos. Here's another example. Donating $10,000 to random Twitch streamers, 14 minutes and 41 seconds. However, an archived version is 16 minutes and 11 seconds. Uh -oh. And the part that got removed is this. Mr. Beast sitting in a kitchen in front of a living room. Yeah. Yeah, and you walk past that picture like all the time. With the same poster so on the wall in the background. Here's a complete list of the edits made to the Mr. Beast videos over the past couple of- Oh no! Oh no, look at this! 59, 9, 10, 18, 1 minute, 13, 1, 18. This is like at least like half an hour. If you add it all up, probably. That's a lot. This is some weaponized autism. Proud of these guys. Months for anyone curious to go look for themselves. This is all the stuff That's they're trying insane. to hide on a plate for you. Also, here's a graph of the past few weeks, at least, to visualize it. And let's just do another one. Tipping Uber drivers $10,000, 11 minutes, 13 seconds. But an archived version is 12 minutes and 37 seconds. Ah. Once again, the section missing is a sponsorship from Quid filmed in the very same kitchen, overlooking the very same living room, showcasing the very same poster from Shadman. Guys, the poster doesn't exist, chat. This one is funny, by the way, in a very twisted sense of the word. I spent uh -huh. 24 hours straight in prison challenge. Current video, 13 minutes. Don't drop Original the video, 14 minutes and 51 seconds. What did they remove? Well, they removed a roughly 30 second section where Jimmy says to the camera, probably shouldn't break the law because being in jail sucks. And then a section where Jimmy describes how he would hate to go to jail for a few years. Why did you cut out that? That seems so innocuous. Like, that's so bizarre. No, like, for real, if I joked about going to prison, but I was innocent, like, what does that even mean? It's a joke, clearly. Yeah, that's so bad. I. Yo, is Mr. Beast like low IQ or something? Is he just not very smart and he got lucky? That can't be true because he, like, can't use it in court. Yeah, you're right, guys. When I murder someone and I uh, bury them in the river and they can't find the body, it just means that I can't go to jail. Yeah, good job. Good logic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it works, clearly. <laughs> yeah, if I burn the evidence, it means it doesn't exist. <laughs> also, some parts about Chris's butt and how Jimmy expects to see it all over Twitter as uh... a meme. And then a part where he asks Chris Tyson, if you were to ever go to jail, what would it be for? Would um...
which is an odd thing to go back and edit six years later. But I think you're starting to get the point because the I think they just should have left it in, man. What he edit? He asked Chris at the time, six years ago, hey, what would you go to jail for? Like, as a question during the video. Mr. Beast channel is going back more than half a decade to stealth delete all sorts of content and associations, yeah. as well as tens of thousands of comments to cover up whatever they can. Still not done. Mr. Beast has multiple YouTube channels, and one of those channels, publicly, appears to not have any videos on it. Except someone brought up and said he's more brand than human at this point. He just acts accordingly. That's a really good point, by the way. He is very much not a person anymore. He is Mr. Beast. That's the problem with like being a corporate like brand, so to speak, is that you only perceive yourself as in the lens of like being a company. It's terrifying. You start to dis dissociate. It does. They're unlisted videos. And August 1st of 2024, after the controversy started, that channel, once again, shout out to Hoboon, who is an absolute fiend when it comes to archiving data. Yeah, this guy's a freaking animal. As of August 1st, that channel pulled down four unlisted videos. These four we have. I wonder why. Huh. Right here. One of them is a fragment of the live stream where the alleged illegal lotteries took place. This one starts right from the beginning with a stone cold statement by Jimmy that he will be signing the t-shirts, but he'll try to convince his team to sign them as well. And sure, it was a different stream where his team accidentally showcased that they sure. forged his signature okay. on the merchandise, but there is a reason that they are making so many stealth edits to all of their content. And yeah, this is the Streisand effect. They're deleting this and putting attention on themselves and making it worse. You're just kind of putting in the limelight. The, the autistic data mining guy wouldn't have noticed if it didn't happen. Maybe some people would have gone through and like, you know, saw it happen. But because the, so what happens when you delete a video on YouTube, your views go down because you're ineffectively deleting the number off your account. So websites like Social Blade, they see a dip in things getting deleted or unlisted. I think it's only deletion, but it doesn't really matter. You just see that and some people be like, ha, huh, I wonder what happened. And then they will go autistically go through everything and just try to archive it and then go back because you didn't, you, you wouldn't have noticed until it happened. You're just making it worse. Pulling down pieces of evidence across the entire brand. The only word that mm. makes sense, any sort of logical sense here, is cover up. Side note, as someone who has such a profound and personal animosity for Shadman, I find it baffling that Keemstar, of all people, and Drama Alert are willing to believe, at face value, a numerical claim from Mr. Beast about the dislikes on his latest video. Oh, he, he got bought out, 100%. I, I, I don't really care because Keemstar's a scumbag. And again, Keemstar's daughter had Shadman, Shadman Drew CP of her, like, and that's actually like illegal, by the way. Um, I don't think he deserved that at all. But at the same time, he is a scumbag, so I kind of expected that. That he would, like, take on and say, Oh, well, uh, oh, Mr. Beast isn't lying. Stop saying I'm bought out. It's like, yeah, you did, man. Yeah, you no. did. When that claim appears to be just flat-out impossible. No, his child didn't request that. No. No, Shadman drew it with drew it which is obscenity you can't draw someone who's in real life a child with like you know that kind of depiction it's illegal you actually will go to jail it's not freedom of speech i'm sorry but i have to defend mr beast okay why i also find it interesting as their team frantically runs around deleting sections of their prior videos to cover up artwork by shadman and delete jokes they made or scenes with chris tyson where he's acting strange and kind of inappropriate as all of that happens some of the largest voices in the community are willing to just 
take things that they say at face value? That's very strange to me. Most of all, however, I want to say once again that the metaphorical levy has broken. There's more coming, and soon, which dials up the intensity here, because the level of predation and unethical behavior, in my opinion, going with my gut here, which all of you will be able to weigh in on very soon, is much, much higher than what is known publicly right now. This is part two of the cover-up angle so far, but I want to end it all by summarizing the total picture. After allegations of illegal law- Cancel culture is a plague on social media. That's all I have to say about that. I'm not even going to address that. Chat, you sort them out. I don't care. I don't care. ...rigged game shows and predatory <laughs> business behavior took place. The Mr. Beast team responded by sending multiple cease and desist letters. The original leaks of behavior by Chris Tyson, Ava Chris Tyson, got pulled. Criticism of unsafe working conditions got shadow banned on social media. Evidence of the live streams on Facebook got deleted. Evidence of the live streams on a separate Mr. Beast YouTube channel got deleted. Entire months of comment section activity got purged. Videos got stealth edited to remove any sign of Shadman's artwork. Videos and then to top it off, other suspicious things got se got censored by himself. Isn't that crazy? Is that not a low IQ thing to do? Then again, his his lawyers might have told him to do that. Got stealth edited to remove all sorts of jokes and remarks by and about Chris Tyson. Tens of thousands of comments got pulled from the latest challenge, and all of this happened before the most damning allegations come out. Because those, I expect, are right around the corner. Oh, My yeah. part to play in this is relatively small. Actually. He's talking about the next dog pack video. We're going to watch it. Don't worry. Actually, but I find myself intrigued by how it's all unfolding as the world's largest social media creator unravels. It's a media empire built on exploitation. A lot of people know that, and they can certainly feel it deep inside as they watch that type of content. But now it's being pulled to the surface and seeing the response, the cover up, as I call it, in real time. It's like a history making internet experiment on the grandest scale imaginable taking place right in front of all of us. My role is simply to watch, listen, commentate and inform. Also, and my role is to yap over it. <laughs> Mr. Beast team, you are being watched. You are being watched by an unknown number of anonymous viewers. And you are being watched by people who aren't as easy to manipulate, at least not compared to the audience you typically exploit. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. That's it. I'll have more soon after whatever it is that comes next. And something will come next. But for now, check out the links down below. A special VPN deal, social media, merch, locals and Patreon, etc. But I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching, question everything, and have a nice night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hope he like anonymous for a moment. Well, his picture is uh, an allusion to anonymous. The thing that he does to talk over it, like right here. Yeah, that was a great video. I had no idea about this guy leaking a bunch of like comments and stuff and doing all the graphing and data mining or whatever archiving. That was a good watch. Oh, yeah.